Hello everyone, before going into today's video, I want you to know that I released on Mobile Fire a massive Talia guide with over 30 pages of content, over 40 matchups and over 30 synergies with information on runes, builds, win conditions, roaming, gang pets and much much more. You have the link in the description below and feel free to check it out whenever you need help and uh, leave an upvote if it did help you. I will also answer all the questions you have guys in the comments or on Discord or wherever you want and I'll also be there for you if you need me. Thank you very much and let's go to the video. Hello everyone, my name is Drumat and today we're going to do our first game of Unranked to Master series on solo queue on Europe, Nordic and East. We're also going to try to do a guide while also um, focusing on the game. So basically, I am Talia Mid with Electrocute, with Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection and Ravenous Hunter and for secondary I have Coop the Grace and Presence of Mind with Armor Runes because I had some flex idea that I'm going to be against an AD. I just forgot to put magic resist against Vagar, yeah, sorry. Okay, so, normally when you start the game you'd want to get your ring and two potions and come here or here to actually check the distance here. For the other side it's very good to stay because you're going to see anyone who roams like right here, somewhere here. And in this side, somewhere here or here, here is the best because you can just back off. Anyway, anyway, this is going to be a guide on how to play in lower elos because maybe most of you got in lower elo placement than they used to be so like if you were a gold one and you got placed in silver three after placements well you're, that's not your real elo so I'm going to help you I'm going to show you how I actually do in lower elos to actually carry the game to try to finish up quicker and we're going to focus on that and also if you guys liked my Talia jungle guides we're going to do some more of this as well if you enjoyed them now this is silver so expect i mean i checked the average elo right so this is silver uh, ish so i checked their elos and uh, we're going to expect some players to play like silvers and some others to play like smurfers so we're going to notice the one that usually get fed are the ones that are in higher elos than they are used to be or currently you know so we're going to try to be careful towards those players and shut them down so obviously if there is a misfortune that is obviously fed we're going to try to give her uh, benefit of the doubt some advantage and we're going to gank her we're going to get all the shutdowns that she's going to you know get and i'm gonna ping that there might be a vi coming to them now in lower elos people don't back off okay so they rarely back off and I rarely back off to sometimes even though I'm higher elo. So I pinged to that guy so that... Uh, oops. Ah, it's good, it's good. I pinged to that guy so that Vine will not murder him senselessly. Okay, so now we see a 7 CS difference already and I'm gonna lose that CS probably. Okay, now it's fine. I see Vi on bot. So if I hit here full combo on Vagar, we're gonna get the kill. I also notice that Vi might be coming. So I have to place myself as a gang from bot lane will come and I'm placing myself in this zone so that I can just stroll around the top side of the map okay so this is some lane phase mechanics exactly see here is the Vi I'm going this way okay so we're fighting and we're doing fine we're basically killing them both and Jax is coming and he solves the problem see that's how you play in this context now she could have flashed the W so she could have flash queued me but in lower elos I don't expect exactly that to happen so I played safe I played the most basic way I could and we got the rewards of that sometimes maybe against Vi if I know she has no flash I'll play the same but if I know she has flash I'll play a little bit more uh, defensive so I wouldn't stay there in higher elo I would just back off Okay, so that would be the main difference. I'm gonna lose the cannon here because I mispositioned I was talking too much. And it's fine. Now I think Jax takes her red. I mean level 2 Jax. I'm not sure why he... Okay, 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 that, that's fine. That's fine, that worked. But you need to go to take your farm buddy. Now, every time you recall, try to finish your lost chapter on mid lane. On jungle, you try to finish the jungle item, obviously, and then maybe orb, zonia, rabbit, and stuff like that. But lost chapter first, Ludens, lost chapter, sorry, boots, Ludens, Sork shoes, and then 
well, maybe Rapidons, maybe stuff like that, maybe Orb. In this context, we don't really need uh, Orb unless unless they start to buy heavy magic resist. But I doubt as as four players in their team are squishy. Like only Vi could buy tank, but the build tankish. So yeah, and you can see how easily it is for me to actually hit those. And I'm gonna get hit here. There is no other way around. But I'm probably not gonna die. Okay, so we want the trade. And now we have to just push her into the tower and get the kill. Okay, so this is this simple. Okay, this is how lower elo works. People will do mistakes like that. And she already wrote the GG. We are already doing fine. I'm gonna ping now my jungler, so that's what you gotta do as well, to go for the Infernal Drake, because I'm missing so many cannons, because this Infernal Drake is like the most important thing in the game, and going for the uh, Dragon Soul is the most important thing that you could do. So I'm going to recall, and then I'm going to come for this, and I'm going to get also boots without the potion, because I no longer have gold, because I missed the cannon. Also, I need to focus on missing cannons. Now, if your farming is not exceptional like mine, but you have some good ideas about general macro and micro, like at diamond high or higher level, you're going to do still fine, as you can notice here. And... Oh, back off. You should have back off there. Okay. It's fine, because I'm on goes bot and probably, probably gets double kill there. I'm gonna get this. Okay, that's not fine. So misfortune, misfortune got the head. I'm gonna ping him. There is also this. Okay. That's calculated. <laughs> that was heavily calculated. Trust me, we did that right. Okay. I'm gonna get damaged a bit, but at this point Vegar is dead. And we can just do this. And now we need to get those cannons like that, so... Obviously it's not a cool thing that we are destroying lower elos, but if I want to reach masters on a fresh account on this, by doing this challenge, at least, at least I'm not intentionally losing games as some other players do have not normal win rates and stuff like that so i'm trying to play as the system wants me to play let's say i'm a new player okay i have a new account i'm playing to get to my elo so the, considering that problem i believe riot riot should really change their system as in how could someone how could someone win like 50 games in a row and still not be diamond or above and that's a problem with the matchup like that's a very big problem with, with the matchmaking rating, sorry, not the matchup. And there's really nothing much we can do until Riot changes their system. Because now, let's say I win some games, okay, I'll get to my ELO, but some people that intentionally tanked, intentionally tanked their matchmaking rating, well, those people, I don't know, they are kind of non-ethical. Making a new account, I believe, and winning your games towards an ELO, it's not ethical in its own if you are from a other server like as I am Diamond 1 on Europe Quest but I doubt I think that he's missing I doubt it's that bad compared to I think I'll write to sorry I don't even remember if I pinged on a slip I think I talked and I didn't realize okay so And this time she was smart about it. But yeah, I could just... And I'm staying like this so that I can... I can actually get most of this. Now, if Vi ults me, I'll try to flash into the tower, okay? So that's my goal. Also, in 20 seconds, I could move towards bot lane. Okay, so that's something that we'd want. Now, Amomo is coming. 
Come on, hit your Q. Good. Let's go Drake. So try to get those Drakes whenever you can. As you can see, the gold difference already pretty much huge. And uh, here, they are actually listened to me because I told them that I'm a Smurfer, and Leona was kind enough to pass me to pass me the mid lane, and so we are actually having a huge advantage because of that. I was filled to support in my first game of placement, so I could have dodged. Remember, you can dodge games in placements, and nothing will happen to you, as uh, it doesn't affect the, uh, you know, the thingy, the... Jesus! I cannot, for God's sake, I cannot take those cannons when I when I talk. So yeah, don't miss cannons like I do, even though I'm first in farming this game to not miss cannons like I do. And I'm gonna ping that I'm coming bot, and I'm gonna advise them to stay more defensively. Okay, mana, 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 back off, 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 back off. I'm coming as well. Stun her, okay. Use ult, use ult. Oh, this is good. Coming. Okay, that's not good. Okay, that's good still. This shit's still dead, okay. So, we got an actual triple kill here. And, uh, actually, I almost got the kill solo on the mid lane. Thank you for passing mid body. So yeah. Now we're getting as many plates as we can. And oops. I mean he will not do anything. Now we're returning mid because we did fine, and we have a vision word there. That's fine. Gonna put a more aggressive word here, and Jax is doing fine as well. But as you can see, my farm is almost eight, nine, ten CS per minute. Soon, if I get some waves, but that's not the purpose of it. Okay, this guy is friend. How chaotic? This guy is chaotic. That's the word this instant push and well, right two ways towards 10 cs per minute but i don't need to you don't need to get 10 cs per minute if you are 5-0 and you get these kind of advantages there and, and here you can put this to check you can actually go here and i'm not sure if i can if I can move here. Yeah, I don't think they've seen me. Okay, good. Now get get the tower. We, we want first tower here. Okay, so we're going to get this. Getting the first tower here since since they can't do much really. I probably die here. I don't die here because I have a great team. And that's fine. missing those W's like no other <laughs> but it's fine we're doing fine need to back off and move mid now if Pike went into that bush he can actually kill me so we can we can just back off here regroup for this so I try to guide them 
because you have the higher knowledge, right? And I'm actually going for another combo here, as we don't really care about having heal reduce. The only one that has heal is this guy, and this guy has basically 0 4 score, so it's it's impossible for them to actually do anything. Now Jax is actually carrying from the top side as well, so we're going we're doing very fine. And this guy just went into a very unfavorable position, I might say. Okay, never mind. Oh, okay, free Drake. Now I did some mistakes this game, as in missing some cannons and missing some Ws. I guided them towards towards a good path. Oops. And so we're actually moving towards the misfortune here. Okay. Oops. Okay, so we got that too. We got the trick. The game is over. They will surrender anytime, any moment now. So we are doing fine. And this guy just suicided. See, in lower reloads it's much more simple to hit those Ws. And now I have some frame drops, but it's not really, not really a problem. And we can actually take this tower as well. Now we move to mid lane for some reason. Those frames don't fix themselves yet. But let's hope it's just a temporary thing. Yeah. Now back to 60. Okay, finally. Okay, so let's focus on getting these cannons. After you have some items and some procs. If you stunned him. Oops. I guess I died, so it's not a problem, but <laughs> calm down. <laughs> okay. So after you have after you have some uh, mana from the uh, presence of mind procs, you can easily, easily farm cannons with your Q, but also you can farm cannons from the worked grounds from below. So yeah, this is the start there. And oops, if you all now they are dead. You gotta back off man gotta back off because you're slowed and 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 oh. <laughs> and I have enough gold for rapidons so that's good as well and you may have went too deep but as you are a tank there is no problem now uh, what's next in the mid game they were currently approach we approached mid game slowly but kind of feel like it's an early game okay we can do this this and we can just nuke everyone from orbit I kind of tend to miss a lot of those W's which is fair and I still got stunned for some reason okay now what you're gonna see in this elo is come on back off can just hold you. Back off. Back off because there might be no back off. Jesus, this fucking guy. Okay, I believe. Well, if he still escaped, but yeah, right. So in this silo, as you can see, a lot of people don't buy red trinkets. So your job might be to have vision where they shoot all the time and to get those those trinkets because well, we need it. We don't know where the words are. No one in the game actually bought a red trinket. This is fabulous. And it's very hard to hit those Ws because I'm not used to their poor dodging patterns. As you have seen, no one has actually tried to sidestep. Everyone just basically stood by. Like, they don't try to dodge, okay, in this... Oops. They just, they just kind of accept their fate. So you just, you just press it under them. Like, you don't try to predict as you have to usually. 
this is fairly interesting. And now we back off. We want that. Oops. Okay. Okay, for some reason that happened. Can I have this, please? No, apparently I cannot. But we good. We fine. Um, although these people actually people actually worked with me under the let me try to help you Leona is coming okay. so yeah we have we have some red trinket issues in this elo so we gotta we gotta focus on focus on getting those words down I mean if she hits she hits a stun. Oops, bike is coming. Can you hear you? Okay. Okay, that worked. One shotting the Vegar. One, one step at a time. Get out of that. Okay. And now hit a full WQ combo on their ADC, but their ADC is fast. Okay. So we gotta focus on other targets. Because currently, that's only one way to. Okay, careful bomb. Okay, we got her. We got another one here and Vegar full combos. Will hurt a bit, but okay. No, it's too fast. And I gotta dodge the He has no mana actually. Wow. So we're, we're uh, ramming too much now at this point. So we gotta back off. Oh boy, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just probably, he's probably gonna die till I come there. I mean. Okay, he smited it. But that's <laughs> not properly done. <laughs> this is a stupid thing to do, okay? If, if their Vi is around, but she's not, she could like easily steal it. Well, we had an idea where she was bottom side of the map somewhere there but oh my god so trash at this but yeah going for zonias now is a pretty good argument because you have like 600 bounty gold and you want to actually gain the advantage in not giving them their that gold so everyone in your team has a lot of bounty gold so we can be we can be ending the game now we can go into the finish line and I think I presented all the major facts that I had to for this game. And he escaped. Okay, so we're going to engage now. Come on, follow me. I had to Zonia because I knew she was going to full ult and full combo and stuff like that. And my frames are going crazy. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, backing off. Cannot see shit. Good thing is that we already won the game. Holy mother of god. Okay, so I believe this is the end of the game. I probably need to close more applications when I want to fail. Because, well, shouldn't have flashed there because there might be another fight yet. But we're just gonna drill this down. I'm getting stunned for no reason here. Okay, and the other, come on. Now why might go for retard for me right here? Okay. 
So we won the game with some minor frame drops. I really, I'm really sorry for it. My laptop cannot handle it that much, but in general, we did fine. We worked our way through the lower elo. We pressed W at the right times. While we did miss some cannons and missed some WQ combos, those are not some factors that will decide our well well-being. But in higher elo stats, those things matter most. Like. There is that difference where macro and micro is similar and this is the painful difference between you and other players so if you're the best at those two things and you also know micro and macro you're going to do exceptionally fine. So we got some vision, I need to switch to red trinkets in this hilo, this is my main takeaway because no one buys the red trinket and I need to clear words and also I need to get some more obviously vision words and to be careful in not missing the W because they are too static and I need to pay attention to my team so when an enemy gets uh, exceptionally ahead we need to get that shot down and we need to one shot him then after every single time so that he does not scale and we get the advantage there. This is my low elo guide, this is my how to carry yourself guide for Talia, I really hope you enjoyed it and see you next time guys, goodbye.